My name is Richard Lucas. I'm an Android developer here at Ray's Labs, and today I'm going to be talking about reusable UI made easy with something called compound components. Quick overview, I'm going to introduce the reusable layout that we're going to be talking about today, and I'm going to talk about a couple ways on how we can reuse this layout. You're probably familiar with the include tag. We're all familiar with fragments. Um, and then I'm going to talk about how to do this same thing using something called compound components. So here's our contact info layout, just a basic uh, layout backed by a vertical um, linear layout. And if you don't recognize him, Michael LeBaron's right there. This is his avatar. Thank you. Um, here's our contact info object. This is the object uh, that contains all the information we need to populate our reusable view. So we have uh, a picture, first name, last name, um, email address, and basic, basic stuff like that. So here's how we do that with the include tag. So assuming it's included in your layout, what you're probably, you're probably all familiar with having to find all the views and then populating each one uh, individually. So I've kind of coalesced some of the calls here, but for each view, it would require two lines of code. Not only do you have to find the view, but then you have to populate it with the data you want. Um, so this lacks the view population logic, meaning that it doesn't take the population logic with it. So anywhere you include this layout, you have to know yourself how to populate it with data. Um, and this can lead to a cumbersome experience. So this is, you're probably familiar, you include it just with the include tag and then reference the layout that you are trying to, um, uh, that you're trying to reuse. So how to do this with fragments. So the good thing about fragments is that we can reuse this population logic um, by putting it in the onCreate view. So this is that same code snippet. Um, if we put this in onCreate view, anywhere we use the fragment, we will also get this population logic so we don't have to worry about that ourselves. But the issue with that is that it can still be cumbersome because fragments are not simple views. They contain views, but there's a common misconception that, oh, it's just a reusable piece of UI. That's not really what fragments are meant for. They're really meant for um, you know, dealing with reusable components that are tied heavily to the life cycle if they're making requests, things like that. In our case, our simple reusable um, UI is not doing any of that. So there's really no need uh, to use a fragment. So compound components. So implementing it, all you have to do is subclass view. In this case, we're subclassing the view group linear layout. And this is the same way you would use a custom view, actually, except we're not overriding the on draw or on measure uh, method. So this is kind of the, distinguish, uh, the thing that distinguishes it from a custom view. Um, so we don't have to worry about any of that. We uh, uh, include the constructor right here, and we initialize our views. We're setting those member variables up, uh, getting a reference to our our views. So using this, there's definitely some uh, some cost in um, using it uh, over in just a simple include tag, um, but it pays dividends down the road because anytime you use it, um, you get the population logic and it's also uh, very easy without the overhead of a fragment. And as you can see right here, we're actually referencing the contact info view directly, so it's a fully qualified, uh, fully qualified view. We're not referencing a arbitrary um, layout with some you know, name, underscore, whatever. Um, it's, a really, it's, it's very clear to the developer what they're using. This is a contact info view. And also, you can use something called custom attributes, um, which you can see down here, um, we have made our own called hide picture. So let's say we don't want to see LeBaron's face. We can go ahead and set hide picture to true. Um, it's the typical default use case. Um, so here's where the magic happens. Um, in our co compound component, uh, we include a method. You can call it anything. Uh, we're not overriding a method. We're just calling this one load. Um, it could be populated. It could be anything. But what we're doing is we're passing in this contact info object, and then it handles everything it needs to do to actually populate the view. So what that looks like is in our activity or our fragment, we could be using this anywhere, um, it takes two lines of code. You just have to find the, our contact info view, find it, and then pass it the contact info object. So rather than finding each view individually and then setting each view, we just pass it the data object and it handles the rest. Um, so that's just, just to compare, um, uh, it saves you quite a bit of code. Um, makes it much more clear in your activity classes and uh, just easier to use. So here's what some custom attributes would look like. I'll touch uh, lightly on this. Dylan James is up next. He'll be diving uh, deeper into this. But you can see we just need to set it in an attributes file. And then somewhere in our compound component, we called it a read array. Again, you could call this anything. And we're actually checking, we're reading these XML attributes and then acting on the UI. So in this case, we're looking at the conditional um, if name, 
if we want the name to be bold, we're going to go ahead and set the first and last name to a bold typeface. So for sufficiently simple UI elements, there's really no need to use compound components. So a common pattern would be to include uh, the same toolbar in each one of your activities. Um, you don't really need uh, to create a compound uh, component in that case. Um, you're often accessing the toolbar directly, so you don't really want to hide it behind uh, something like a compound component. Um, also, this is not a replacement for fragments whatsoever. Fragments are still very useful for, again, things like uh, that rely heavily on uh, the life cycle and um, if you're you know, subscribing to listeners, sending requests, things like that. Um, so I have actually a sample project for this. Um, on You can check out our uh, Raise Labs GitHub. It's under Compound Components. I show uh, examples on how to use the include tag, fragment, and then also uh, how to do this with compound component. I'm kind of conveying um, why I think for simple, reusable UI, compound component is uh, really the way to go. Thank you very much. If you guys have any questions, um, yeah, ask now or you can grab me after uh, for anything that requires a little bit, a little bit extra. So thank you very much.